is a game called Please, as in please let this not be another generic itch.io jump scare game. Wow, that screen shake is pretty wild. Okay, also the textures bend when they get close to the screen. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? It's like depth of field, you know, like when you get close to things in most games and they get kind of blurry, except for it bends the textures. All right, read. Please, please, yes. Would you kindly, I guess, are we doing that? One of those Bioshock things? A man chooses. A slave obeys. How oh, it teleported us. These textures are something else. Wow. I'm sure this would give some people a headache to play. I don't mind these sort of things, but boy. Stamp out the abomination. Slugs? We hating on slugs now? And this, uh, if you couldn't already tell, is another one of those PS1 style horror games. I can't even think of any first person PS1 horror games off the top of my head. Or like art deco architecture going on here. Together we can do it. Punch slugs? Is that what we want to do? We want to punch slugs? Is the monster going to be a big slug? So atmosphere wise, this kind of reminds me of Eraserhead. It's a David Lynch movie from the 80s, I believe. And uh, a lot of it centers around this weird power plant in the town. It's very uh, dystopian, kind of creepy, unsettling atmosphere. Oh, nice. Nice fog. Is that supposed to be blood? I, I don't know. It's red. Red in horror game equals blood. Pressing machines. Pressing machines. Doesn't seem to be any real puzzle to it. Just press some machines. Now there's like either somebody yelling or a train noise. Can't really tell the difference. Okay, I guess it's like a steam engine sort of thing. Okay, day three. Yeah, I feel like the whole reset is kind of like extending this. Like we just have to walk back down here. It's because we could have done all the days down here. It's all in the exact same spot. But I guess they're building a narrative. I'll I'll give them that. They're uh, constructing some sort of story that happens over multiple days or occurrences. Oh, there's gonna be something in here. A mouth, sort of. I think those are teeth. Kill it. Terminate. So, uh, you know, fleshy organ mouth thing was powering the generator. That's my theory. Go with that. What about the slugs? There's progressive noise on the screen. This is probably gonna kill the video compression. Everything is getting much more pixely. Oh, here's the thing. It's the slug! It's a very, very, very pixelated slug. Okay, the slugs are coming. The slugs are not happy that I killed that mouse. Oh, is that, is that a person? I can't really tell, but definitely a slug in here. Uh, <laughs> I actually liked it, okay? I mean, obviously, very indie, very rough around the edges, but I dug it. It actually had a sort of narrative, I guess if you want to call it that, left you some things to think about. Um, it seemed very Eraserhead inspired, at least to me. I don't know. If anybody else has seen Eraserhead, tell me if you think this was also sort of Eraserhead or Lynchian in general. I put every damn pipe in this neighborhood! Oh, yeah. The gameplay itself, there wasn't that much going on. I figured like those switches would be a puzzle or something, but they weren't really. I would be very interested to see more from this developer or a bigger world in this style or even just, I don't know, something else that they're working on that's a fuller project with like more gameplay, I guess. But atmosphere, world building wise, totally cool with this. I'd love to see more games like this. So uh, good job. Yeah, I'm actually pleasantly surprised by this one. That was please. I will see you guys later.